Welcome back to the 2024 Big Sky Conference Kickoff Media Day. Megan Robinson back here at Big Sky Kickoff Weekend, joined now by Keelan White and Ryan Tyrrell from the Montana Grizz. Guys, how's your media weekend going? It's going good. It's super fun. Super fun. Is this your first one? Yes, it is. Yeah, going well. It's been a great opportunity. Right. <coughs> Talked to Coach just now, and I mentioned the explosive star power on offense with you. You have Junior Bergen, Aaron Fonts. You guys combined for over 2,000 yards last season. You have a nickname that you call yourselves. What is that nickname? Yeah, we call ourselves the Waffle House. Yeah, because, uh, you know, like, there's three of us out there, and one of us is going to be open. 20, like, we're always open 24-7. So. <laughs> yeah. And I want to set the record straight right now. You are from Canada, yeah. but you have been to a Waffle House. I have, yes. Yeah. The whole, whole group has. Yeah, uh, I don't know if the whole group has, but I know a couple of us have for sure when we go on our little breaks and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> we always send a picture in the group chat when we're at one. Just want to let the people know that he is Canadian, but he has experienced a Waffle House. Now, Ryan, you're a linebacker. If you had to come up with a name for your position group, what would it be? <laughs> Put you on the spot. <laughs> That's an excellent question. I don't even know. Not, I can't think of anything creative right now, but... <laughs> Maybe hitters. I don't know. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. The first thing that came to my mind right now was Sack Factory. I don't. Oh, yeah. No, that's good. Oh, so live up to that this season, please. It's more creative than mine. <laughs> I liked hitters too. I liked hitters too. Ryan, you grew up in Missoula, mm -hmm. Grizz fan. What's it like getting to play for the team that you once cheered for? Yeah, no, it's it's an honor. It's been uh, super fun. It's been a blessing. Um, I've really enjoyed my time at the university. Can't believe it's already my senior year um, just growing up watching the Grizz and then already being a senior it's surreal and Keelan as we established you are from Canada how did you make your way down to Montana for college football well it was uh, it was getting kind of late in my recruiting process in high school and um, I had already committed to a Canadian University UBC up in Vancouver but um, they gave me the freedom to explore my American opportunities so um, yeah, Coach Green hit me up on Twitter and said Coach Peace was up in the area and would love to talk to you and uh, gave me a preferred walk-on spot and I and I took it and I took it. That was the only opportunity I had, so yeah, I took it. How do you think it's going for you? It's going pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very very glad I made the decision to come down here. Ryan, not only did you grow up a Grizz fan, but you also have a family connection mm -hmm. on this team. Who were you related to? Uh, both the uh, Coach Hawks, <laughs> <laughs> both of them. <laughs> Uh, your uncle. Yeah. What's it like playing for your uncle? Uh, it's been an awesome experience. Um, he's uh, he's a terrific coach, and he uh, definitely turns the coach switch on in a proper manner, and it's it's been super fun and fulfilling experience. How would you say he balances being your uncle with being your coach when you're out at practice or on a game day? Yeah, I mean, I feel like uh, if you were just a bystander, you'd probably never know he's my uncle. Uh, when you're out there on the football field, but uh, um, yeah, it's 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 been awesome. Switching to some off field, you guys have been talking football all day. Keelan, you brought a prop with you. Oh, you were busy this summer. <laughs> what did you release this summer? Because I think this is the coolest thing. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this summer we I was trying to figure out like what I should do to try and like put myself out there and promote my brand, and um, I started doing the Spidey celebration during the games, and uh, it kind of stuck. And then in the off season we. Uh, me and my dad kind of brainstormed, like everybody does the merch and the t-shirts, but I kind of wanted to be unique, so I created my own little coloring book here. It's kind of, it's got all the, uh, all the pictures and all the pages of uh, stuff from the past, the past few years of my career. Um, where's my favorite page at? It's in here somewhere. While you're looking, who did the artwork for this? Um, so, um, there's a local community college, Capilano University, up in, uh, up in Vancouver and my dad knew one of the professors there who uh, of the graphic animation class so he got them to uh, took five of his best best artists and got them to do this semester project for us but uh, yeah so this is my favorite page right here obviously we know what this one is if you can see I don't know I'll flip it there's that one right there the two-point conversion against NDSU. So yeah, that's my favorite one right there. So each page is, has a picture to say, like this is the real yeah. photo. Yeah. Yeah. So you could either match it to the match it to the photo or get creative if you want. Ryan, have you colored in this coloring book yet? I have not. <laughs> I have not had the opportunity yet. I can't stay in the lines. So. <laughs> you can't stay. 
stay in the line. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. You just get it done on the football field. That's what counts. <laughs> well, guys, thank you both so much for taking a few minutes to chat. I hope you enjoy the rest of your media weekend, and good luck out there. Tom thank Wiley, you. I'm going to send it on over to you.